Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Was Hack. Our White Witch died the last time, so we're sort of back to our usual form with Was Hack, but I do feel like our fairly successful run with Barone the Great was an educational experience, so hopefully we'll be able to pull the standard up a little bit in future. But let's see how it goes. Um, didn't feel the White Witch one was, run was great. I'm tempted to go with the wizard again, but I don't want to become superstitious about the wizard being a better character than others. Still, today, that's what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to bump up dexterity. Uh, anything else? Uh, constitution, maybe? Strength? No. Basically just dexterity we can increase there. And intelligence and wisdom, our magic-related stats, were already maxed at 18. At least I assume 18 is the max. I think I'm going on D&D &D assumptions here, but that does seem to be the case. So, Joseph the Seeker. I assume it's meant to be Joseph, pronounced Joseph, but I can't help reading it as Geoseph. Off we go. I'm afraid you're under a lot of pressure here, Geoseph, to follow in Barone the Great's footsteps. Of course, all we have is our Wand of Magic Missile. And I'm going to try to save that for important occasions. But at the same time... I oh, picked up a dagger, didn't want to do that. Um, at the same time, there's no point just hanging on to wand charges if it gets us killed. We've made that mistake in the past. When I say we, in this case, I mean me. Alright, Kitten, help me out with the... Okay, we're being flanked, so I guess... Yeah, that's two enemies there. I think Kobold and Rat, and then the Goblin over there. So let's take out these two with the magic missile, and then battle the Goblin. Okay, that worked well enough. Potion and Scroll are okay. Wow, facing a lot of enemies for this early in the game. Um, I'll leave the Horned Bow, I'll take the Meat. I'll take the Club, because you know that's become my thing for magic user characters to start using a club. Cursed club, but, you know, I knew that was a risk when I picked it up. Come on, cat, help me out here. Come on! Ugh! You don't know any spells. What, am I going to have to wand it? Really? Really? Come on, kitten, just do something. Alright, we'll take both the gems. At some point, I'll be able to uncurse this club and remove it from my grasp but it's not dreadfully urgent. Um, I'm going to eat the Surat meat now. That's just lichen, so we can bash that into submission without fear. Uh, another goblin. Ooh, very goblin-y, this run. Um, going to have to use the wand again, because we're just missing the goblin far too many times. It's unacceptable. I don't enjoy having to waste my wand charges like this, because they're really the only advantage we have. Let's try throwing some potions. Yeah, no identifies. Or oh, at least that none of them are being identified by throwing them like this. That one was a potion of healing, which obviously was the opposite of what I wanted. If the kitten isn't doing anything, we're going to have to continue using the wand. I mean, a couple of people have suggested, don't use the wand charges straight away. Just let your kitten kill things. It doesn't work, okay? The kitten just follows me if I back off. So I have to use the wand here. So, down the ladder. And we've got some arrows, which is basically nothing. I will take the red mushrooms, because people keep saying, you know, mushroom trick of some sort. I'll, I'll try and remember to give it a go. But I will drop the mushrooms if something more practical seems to come up. An identified potion, not hugely interesting. At least we've got a bit of a break from the goblins on this floor. Uh, more potions. Is that the same variety? No. There's a difference between magenta potion and purple red potion, evidently. Uh, no spell books, which is quite disheartening. Um, we're going to need spell books. That's, that's what the success of this run is going to come down to. That's what determined the success of Barone the Great. And it's what will determine our success here as well. Ah, oh, the cat's actually fighting this time. Finally. Uh, yeah, that was what determined the success of Barone the Great, and it's what is going to determine success here too. Um, 
spell books. Basically. Uh, okay, since we don't actually have any magic at the moment, I don't feel like recharging mana would be a great use. I feel like maybe literacy. So we can read spell books and, you know, a couple more levels we'll be able to identify scrolls as well. I feel like that's probably of more practical use. Okay. That bat is going to do us in at this rate, so we'll have to use a wand, like it or not. Okay, might as well take the gloves, I guess. Oh, metal gauntlets. No, because metal impedes spellcasting ability. Eat the bat meat. Which confused us. Or stunned us. Magic missile. Magic missile. Okay. Just kill the rat. Kill the rat. Oh, I was stunned. I can't do anything. Okay. God, this is a rough run so far. Doesn't bode well, I have to say. Alright. Uh, and that is... Yeah, mould. So we need to take that out from a distance, really. Let's try throwing some potions at it. Murky potion. Hallucination. Uh, magenta is blindness. And purple red is... Don't know. And it's still alive. Let's just get past it. And I'll sleep over here since we're on the brink of death. I don't care if I start to feel hungry. I keep eating. And a bit more sleep. Okay. And again, I don't feel great about the way that um, we're not finding any spell books. I mean, just none so far. Not even bad spell books. Because that is what is going to determine whether this is a successful or unsuccessful run. Certainly an invisibility trap isn't going to have much influence over that. Get away from me. I don't know where the cat's gone. It seems to have gone astray. But we'll just have to keep descending. That's the name of the game in Wazhack. Keep descending. Keep descending would have been an incredibly boring title for Wazhack, actually. Okay, we picked up a potion of healing, which is fine. Hopefully we can beat the snake one-to-one. -one. Beat the snake one-to-one -one sounds horrific. Come on, cat! Seriously, we have literally no accuracy, it seems. So we need to come over here and have a sleep. Yeah, despite putting as many points as I realistically could into um, dexterity, we seem to be completely unable to hit anything. Which is a serious concern. Okay. Um, somewhat lacking in food. We could eat an apple. Or those mushrooms. But I don't really want to take either of those options. We could do with meat. And here we're going to have to use a wand, I'm afraid. Cat, help me out here. Thank you. Any meat? Uh, no. Just the stuff... We oh, shit! Okay, this is definitely a wand occasion. Okay, well, we've gained a level and taken out most of those enemies. Uh, at this point, I'm going to say first aid, so that when we're resting to get health back, um, we will hopefully not become as hungry, because it won't take as long. Red gem, yes. Pear, yes. Uh... Carrot, yes. I mean, cobalt innards, I guess, but I'll have to eat an apple as well. Still, might be worth it at this point. So, cobalt innards, and then apple. And we're still hungry anyway! Let's eat a pear. Okay, we're now back to neutral hunger, which isn't brilliant, but it'll have to do. Bats seem to be impossible to hit. Hopefully the cat will do a number on it. Come on! Okay... Um, what does Battle Major do? Metal Equipment has 20% lower penalty on spellcasting. Could be worth bearing in mind for the future, but right now, since we don't have any spells anyway, I feel like it would be kind of irrelevant. So let's keep going with, well, I don't know, maybe literacy. I mean, I know it's less practical from a combat point of view, but if we ever do find spell books, then literacy level 2 will be very handy. Plus, um... Literacy level 3, of course, 
allows us to identify all scrolls as well. Now, we just picked up a Spellbook of Cure Sickness, which won't help with combat, but will help, of course, with eating poisonous things. So it should help with our um, hunger problem. Wooden Dagger. If we're able to remove the curse from this club, that could be handy. So let's try some scrolls. Create monster is not what I was looking for. But the cat helped out. How about Tidder Roth? Teleport. Uh, again, not really what I was after. Hackamoosh. Nothing happens. And Beowoki. Identify. So no remove curses, which is a problem. Uh, let's try the blue cape. Uncursed cloak, whatever, don't really care. Um, the wooden dagger is also cursed. Let's identify the wand then, I guess. Uncursed wand of make invisible. Uh, what about the gems? Worthless red glass. And the green one? Gas? No, just worthless glass again. So, not doing tremendously well. Now, what I started to say before that little distraction was the Cure Sickness spell that we just found will enable us to eat a bit more indiscriminately because we won't have to worry about whether things are going to poison us because we can just cure the poison anyway. Die, thank you. Um, not bothered about the club. I would like to use that wooden dagger, but it's cursed. And more importantly, the club is cursed. So we can't wield it until we get a remove curse. Either scroll or um, spellbook. Spellbook would be good, but, you know, spellbooks are always good because they give you unlimited access to your spells. Cobalt Shaman could be an issue, so I'm actually going to Magic Missile. Again, I don't like using up wand charges, but it's better than death. Picked up a mace, didn't want to pick up a mace. I just wanted to search his body to see if there was anything useful there. So let's check that. Let's check the staff as well, I guess, and the arrows. I didn't even know I picked up any arrows. All right, descend. Hmm, that thing doesn't really interest me. It's probably not going to be any food. Six red mushrooms. Okay, do I now have enough mushrooms to drop? Was it ten or was it twenty? Well, I've got thirteen. Let's try dropping them. Nothing happened. So I guess that's not the correct number of mushrooms for whatever exciting effect people keep talking about. Uh, actually managed to overcome the bat for once. Uh, what's that? Identify again. Don't need it right now. What we need really is food. Um, I'm starting to think I might actually have to resort to using carrot and an apple. I might have to eat everything I've got. Was there anything down this end of the floor? I actually don't remember. Did we even come this way? No, we did not. What's that? Yellow mould. Don't want to know. Alright, uh, we don't have any lamps, but I guess... Alright, the cat killed the mould. Okay. So I guess all we're left with at this point is down the stairs. Okay. Scroll of 9KR. Don't know. Let's read it. Enchant armor. Well, that's, that's all right. It's fine. Um, let's throw some potions. Potion of paralysis. Good find. You're weak from hunger. I'd rather not be, but I seem to have very little control over it. All right, we're going to have to eat everything we've got. Um, or at least the apple and the carrot. I might have to eat the mushrooms as well. Sorry, you um, mushroom fans who wanted me to drop all the mushrooms. Right now, they're more important as food. And, of course, I'm going to cure sickness. And then eat some more. Okay. And cure sickness again. And now we'll have to rest a bit to get some health back. Only half health, but it'll have to suffice. Oh god, two spell books, but we have to deal with that sewer grate. Alright, rest first. And then... Look, we need those books. 
we need them, so we're going to have to take on the Great. If we don't get those books, then we're dead anyway. I don't have enough charges. Nine charges for Magic Missile. I will use Make Invisible on myself. And then grab and run, basically. Restore ability, magic mapping. Ugh. I hoped they might be more useful. But they're actually not that useful anyway, so it probably wasn't worth the risk in the end. Hey, alright. Upgrade your clubbing skills. Not really what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Kick open the chest. Come on. Open. Open! Wow. I think we just got everything out of the chest, because I was in such a hurry. Uh, okay. So what did we pick up? Nothing. May have just been gems and money and the like boots, evidently. Um, I just realised I never put on that cloak. It's not enormously beneficial, but better than not wearing it at all. And another scroll. Hit the wrong key. Alright, so let's test some scrolls. Scroll of Enchant Weapon, which is tolerable. Scroll of Fire, my favourite. Cobalt Sherman Shaman wields a cursed wand of magic missile. So presumably he just picked up that wand. So, what are we going to do? Let's chuck a clear potion at him. Bottle of water. Not what I was after. But never mind, we won in the end anyway. Alright, so we've got another magic missile wand. So that's some small saving grace anyway. Oh, I would love to get an actual, you know, combat spell. So I guess we'll Cure sick. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Um, eat the cobalt in its first and then cure sickness. Oh, but it actually didn't poison us. So, I guess we'd better read these, might as well. Restore ability. Fine. And magic mapping. Fine. Again, not hugely bothered about either of them, but they're all we've got at this point. So let's press on. And, uh, mercifully, it seems we haven't been chased out of that sewer grate. Alright, that is green mould, so you could do with avoiding that or taking it out from a distance, one or the other. Killed the kobold, thank you. It dropped a carrot. And we'll dodge this thing. No. I'm not going near that giant door. Enormous enemies will come out. And we're struggling enough with just normal enemies without... You know, running into ogres and such like. Leafy staff could be handy, but at this point I'm having real trouble just ungluing the club from my hand. Ugh, I don't want the scroll of fire. And I don't want it in my inventory because I'll just be, you know, I'll be at risk of accidentally using it when I'm trying to use something else. Identify is alright. Another green mould we will avoid. I don't think we have much to identify, honestly. Bust open the chest. Come on. Alright, what have we got? Another scroll, some money, a crooked wand. Well. Um, I'm going to try the scroll immediately. Destroy armour. Well, it destroyed my cloak. At least it wasn't a terrible loss, because I... That cloak was not a huge asset anyway, but still. Seems like we're having a bad run of luck. I suppose we have a lot to compensate for after our run of success with Barone the Great. Let's try out the crooked one, see what it does. Teleportation. That's tolerable. Got rid of them. Of course, it's more important, arguably, as um, an escape tool for me. Do we want to magic missile these assholes? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, level gained. So, let's go with the third level of literacy. I was tempted to take um, first aid for the healing effect, but I think being able to identify all scrolls is very, very handy. Let's eat the innards. And in fact, let's see what our scrolls are. Identify light and teleportation. Right, fine. Whatever, not a big deal. Another identify. We're getting a lot of identifies, but I don't think there's anything actually worth identifying here. 
No, not really. I mean, there's the potions, some of the gems, I guess. I mean, mainly it's just the boots. I'm going to drop the iron boots. And I'll maybe identify the other boots another time when we have some other things to identify too. The rabid rat has poisoned us. I'm going to have to magic missile it since there's now a kobold coming up behind us as well. Come on. Magic missile. Okay. Now, cure our own sickness. And I can't believe it's so dark in here. I'll take the apple. I mean, I guess I could take the studded leather suit. And in fact, maybe this would be a time to use identify. To identify the boots. Cursed boots. Minus one speed. Oh, we only identified one item. Well, fuck you. I'm going to use a blessed scroll of identify. Okay, uncursed suit of studded leather, which is probably not as good as our blue robe. The blue gems are worthless glass. The orange ones are also worthless glass. Bubbly potion is potion of polymorph. Well, what a treat. I'm amazed we actually managed to fell that dwarf. Potion of hallucination isn't hugely interesting. So that was a bit of a waste of two identify scrolls, because we didn't really learn anything worthwhile from either of them. Um, going to have to magic missile this spider. Wow, it might actually win here. Nope, we managed to pull it off, and we're heading back into the light, and this is Spellbook of Magic Missile, at last! So, let's drink some potions of healing, or one anyway, and we will read the Magic Missile Spellbook. And now we're actually equipped with a combat ability. <sighs> Alright, deep breath. Let's go. Uh, we're going to need some food pretty soon. Oh, get away from me! Let's magic missile this bat. Yeah. And now we're going to have to rest. I mean, I know we have a couple of potions of healing, but can't really afford to spare them the way things are going. Of course, this will increase our hunger. Yeah, weak from hunger. But we... I don't know, we'll just have to scoff all our stuff, I guess. If it comes to that. Yeah, you know what? Our, our hunger meter is red. I'm going to have to just eat everything. And the apples are less important now that we have a spell to cure our poison. We're at least not dangerously hungry now. Um, and let's use magic missile on these assholes. That wasn't a problem. The wind is looking a bit threatening. But it doesn't seem to be moving towards us. Nothing to eat on the bodies of those blobs. Wizard lock! Ah, uh, Things are starting to look up. You may remember from Barome the Great's run that Wizard Lock was one of the main things that kept him alive so long. Alright, let's buy some bread from this baker. All of her loaves. And we're now overburdened. Do we have anything that could be turned into a pie? No. Alright, well, our overburdenedness is kind of a concern. But, I'm going to drop Restorability, Magic Mapping, um, anything else? No, I'll, I'll keep those, I guess. Um, I'll drop the Cursed Wooden Dagger, because it's looking like we're not going to have a chance to use it. And I'll drop some of the Worthless Glass. Yeah, that unburdened us. Alright. Oh, we're heading into the Gnomish Mines. Okay. Now, someone remarked in the comments on one of Barone's videos during his run that um, I made an error in pulling away from the Gnomish Mines with him and sticking with the normal dungeon levels. And they went, no, the, the Gnomish Mines are easier than the normal dungeon areas. They are. You should have gone in there. So much easier. Well, you know, I go up against the giant rats if I go down the mine route. I've never survived the giant rats. It's suicide going in there. It just is. So gain a level of life spell. Um, 
And I think we'll deal with this dilemma the next time. Do we go into the mines or do we proceed down into the dungeon? Let me know what you think I should do in the comments below. Until next time, bye for now.